So, you know, you can actually use your laptop if you want. Because, well, baby, I'm nice and cozy now. Y'all done messed up. Okay. You should have brought your water. I think I'm ready. Let's just go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Penny McHale. Thank you so much for being with me today. We are continuing <laughs> in my uh, PJs and perfumes. <laughs> my unofficial series until I am all settled in, which it is a long and slow process. Um, it's going to take me some time before I'm going to be actually like settled in all the way but I wanted to come on here really quick because Dawkins and Rome is having a um, like a sale I think it's the owner's birthday or something and I wanted to smell the new releases to see if I actually wanted to purchase a bigger size of it and I don't know what made me think I had all the time in the world to make up my mind because pink cotton already sold out it was in my cart I could have checked out by the time I went back and looked and was trying to make up my mind pink cotton was already gone so I said, let me quit playing around, get on here, smell the new releases so I can figure out if I want to get any of these. And I believe everything that I'm going to smell today is available in the Perfume Mist, which is like their version of, of an eau de toilette. So, we're going to get into it. You don't have to always think my amazing, beautiful, incredible subscribers. Y'all be rocking with me. We holding it down. Every time I come on here with a crazy idea, y'all y'all just y'all with me um i'm having nothing i didn't do nothing but i'm having like an internal struggle of how i want to proceed with merch because like my t-shirt vendor still hasn't gotten back with me to let me know the shirts are done and we're way past the deadline that we had set and i don't like how that built for number one i don't like if I'm going to do something particularly particularly with business, I'm going to do it and do it well. Like, I may not have my life together in my personal life, but when it comes to doing something for a business sake or content, I'm going to do it and do it well. And it's a poor reflection of me because I'm waiting on other people to get back with me. So between the shirts, that's the vendor. Journals is another vendor. Um, I feel like I have one more vendor. But I'm limited to what they can do or when they can get it back to me and I just don't like how it feels I don't like how it feels and the struggle is pre-order is the most it's just the best option overall because it doesn't put the stress and burden on me to pay for things up front order a bunch of stuff what if they don't sell sometimes a merch drop does well sometimes they don't like and that's okay I'm okay with that because I didn't take any losses like you know whatever they order just go place the order so pre-order is the best option but I'm frustrated now when your vendors aren't getting back with you in a time frame so now it's like okay what well, do I buy stuff but then what if I then you have to figure out how many sizes and how much it just I don't know so it's making me feel like I just don't want to do anything because I just don't like how this feels I just really don't like it and I don't know what to do yeah I just I don't want to do it. especially when you kind of merge friendship and business it just gets a little blurry so I don't know that's just where I'm at just I'm feeling very frustrated and <laughs> very defeated anyway that ain't what this video is about dog is aroma so the one let's just go in order I just this is strawberry baked so like I said this is going to be available in the perfume mist so, Strawberry Bake has, it is a blend of sugary sweetness and comforting warmth highlighted by the luscious scents of ripe strawberry syrup, creamy whipped cream, freshly baked dough. I'm very interested to see how this is going to turn out because lately strawberry and the way people have been doing strawberry has just been a complete miss for me. I have just been not enjoying a lot of strawberry more times than not I have not been enjoying it. Um, it's just been smelling very artificial, very fake, very, or not like a juicy strawberry. 
So I'm interested to see if I am going to like this or not. Okay. Okay, this is not bad. The strawberries is still, it feels a little bit like, well, let me just first, it does not say, it does not smell like strawberry pound cake. It doesn't smell like just a rep a replication or like a dupe of strawberry pound cake. Like you can have strawberry pound cake and strawberry bake. Like it's both justified. Um, it there it is a cakey strawberry scent. It does feel strawberry because strawberry pound cake can sometimes feel a little heavy. This definitely feels more lighter, if that makes sense. I can smell the dough, it's not overbearing. I do get all the notes. I do, it's done well. The strawberry is it still smells a little artificial and a little bit like the strawberry is supposed to be in an air freshener and not necessarily a perfume. I don't know if that makes any sense. However, I do like it. But it feels, the strawberry feels like a, like I just sprayed a really good, or plug, put a really good strawberry plug in it. However, it's done very well and the notes are all there. The whipped cream, the dough. It is an accurate reflection of exactly what it says. The artificial strawberries was throwing me off. Not throwing me off. It's just, I don't know. I need to spin the block on this. If you are a gourmand lover, I think you will enjoy this. And I could see this being a compliment getter. I could see this layering well with so many things. And like I said, again, it's not a dupe for strawberry pound cake. It's not the same thing as strawberry pound cake. And I'm going to say, even if you like and enjoy strawberry pound cake, you can buy this and it's different. Even if you don't like strawberry pound cake, you can buy this and it's different. They're not they're not the same thing. This is more like strawberry should I say strawberry shortcake? The one that's got like the angel food cake and the whipped cream and the and the strawberries versus like a heavy strawberry pound cake. Like that's this that's the difference. It doesn't feel like it'll be super offensive. It actually feels like you can wear this to work if you want to. It won't be too much. I do like it but I'm still straw me and strawberry we we've been having a time lately. We've been having a time lately. So that is strawberry bake. Okay, what's next? Pop. I really hope I like this one. The notes for pop are experience the nostalgia of childhood pleasures and a hint of refinement with notes of sticky bubblegum, dark cherry, tonka bean, and sugary vanilla. This is the one I'm hoping that I want in a bigger size. Because those notes sound right up my alley. Uh oh, we might have a winner. Hold on. Oh, this is good. This is oh, this is good. This smells like a root. And out there's a candy, like a root beer candy. I don't know if you ever had it. It's literally like a dark color, the same color as root beer. You get the fizziness in this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that tonka bean and the vanilla is grounding this so good. Woo. That's good. <laughs> oh yeah. That is ooh. That literally smells. It's kind of got a root beer candy vibe to it. I don't know how to explain it. There's a root beer candy, and that's kind of what it's reminded me of. I think it's the is it the dark cherry and the tonka together? Something in this. I like this. Oh yeah. That's the winner. We're gonna need a ooh. We're going to definitely need a bigger size of that. I like that. So Nilly Vanilli, I'm not going to open this because I already have a sample of this. So I'm going to save this to hopefully add for a giveaway. Uh, milk bath. I don't have no expectations for this because I've never even attempted to buy the original. So this is their version or their inspired version from Bubble Bath. And so the notes for this are soap. Coconut milk, del is that right? Soap, coconut milk, delicate jasmine, lavender, and soft musk. It's definitely a musk scent. There's something that comes off a little bit like cologne to me, just a little bit. This leaves a little masculine to me, to be honest. And I've never smelled the original. I don't know. This smells like a really, really clean men's scent. Yeah, I wouldn't like this on me. It. I mean, it is unisex. Because a woman can definitely wear this. But this to me gives unisex leaning a little masculine. It smells like a really clean man. A really clean men's cologne. I could definitely wear it with some things. Some other fresh scents. But that's not something that I would want in a bigger size. This is Millen Mood. 
this I believe is another original. Yes, this is Sunkissed Honeydew Succulent Cantaloupe and Tantalizing Sugared Musk. Let's cut these up. Yes, I'm using a Sephora bag until I can find my texture strips and get my room set up. Ooh. Okay. The honeydew or the is it honeydew I'm thinking of cantaloupe that is there in a heavy juicy way. However, there is something in here that's throwing me off. Mm -mm, there's something in here that I don't like. The honeydew is so good though. I really want to love this. The honeydew is so good. A juicy succulent honeydew cantaloupe. I'm sorry, cantaloupe. I don't know what it's what's in here that's throwing me off. It's almost like they included the inside and the outside of the cantaloupe. Like the skin of the cantaloupe, the outside, the rind part. It's almost like that's in here too. That's the part that's making me be like, I don't know if I can do this. But that cantaloupe, it's good, sweet, ripe, juicy cantaloupe. If you, This is like the most, probably one of the most accurate honeydew cantaloupe scents that I have smelled. I'm going to let this sit because... Dawkins Aroma fragrances do change over time because they are X straight day parfums. Well, not just because of that, but they are X straight day parfums. And they do change over time. Although this would be the perfume mist. So this wouldn't be the X straight. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm hoping that over time, a little bit of time, I'll come to like that one. Maybe by the end of the season. I'll enjoy it. But right now, that is such a realistic, really good cantaloupe honeydew scent. There's just something, I don't know. Oh, a little disappointed in that one. And last, another U, which is, this could be 50-50. So this is another um, designer. No, it's not. I thought it was, but it's not. So this is Sweet Sugar Creamy Milk Velvety Sandalwood and Subtle Musk. I'm kind of, um, I can be somewhat apathetic about skin scents. Um, I'm coming around to understand, understand them and appreciate them more. However, I'm still very picky and more times than not, I find myself not liking them. But hopefully this is one that I do like. So let's see. Okay, this is actually really nice. I think if you like that new scent that Best Mighty Works just came out with, Milk, I think you would like this. It is a, it's almost like, it smells like, and this is the dumbest thing I'm probably ever going to say, but it almost feels like an unscented lotion. Which, how, it's no scent. How do you, I don't know. But it almost feels like an unscented lotion that's just a little bit sweet. I don't hate this. Sweet sugar, creamy milk, velvety sandalwood. And so, this is actually done very, very well. This is, this is good. Like, you could definitely wear this on those super, super hot days where you don't really want to be too heavy. You don't want to smell like too much. If you're going to the gym, if you want something office wear, office appropriate for the office. Even like I can see this, even if you're working like the medical field and you can't have something too, too crazy. Like, I could definitely see this being one of those your skin but better type of scents. Did I put on anything today? I want to put a little bit on. What I'm realizing though with me specifically as it pertains to, to skin scents. I need to smell it when I'm moving around to really know if I like it or not because that's the only time I really appreciate the skin scents. Like, just spraying it on as like my scent for the day and I'm not really doing anything. I don't really, it doesn't really work for me like that. I need it for when it's either a super, super, super hot day, 90 degrees, 90 plus degrees, and or a day where I know I'm going to be moving around a lot and possibly sweating, possibly whatever. Then that's when the perfume heats up on my skin and I can really appreciate it. That's my personal journey currently with like skin scents and like musk and things like that. So that's what I would really need to see. But so far, it smells a little soapy on the skin, but I don't I don't mind that. That's kind of expected when you kind of get these skin type scents. I don't mind that. This is actually kind of nice. I can see myself enjoying this on one of those days where like, okay, I don't want to do too much. It's too hot. Or I might be moving around too much. I'm surprised I like this. So actually... I'm very surprised at what my favorites are. Should I rank these? Or, well, let me just tell you which ones I'm actually strongly considering getting a full bottle of. Especially because I think it's what, 30% off? That's a good sale. Pop, for sure. I definitely want a bigger size of that. 
actually another you. And that's, I don't know, that's kind of all I'm feeling right now as far as like, I want to take advantage of the sale, the 30% off. I thought for sure Strawberry Bake was going to be on, and I almost went ahead and bought it. Oh, I forgot that this, this, uh, it came with a pouch too, like an iridescent pouch. Um, but, what was I saying? I thought for sure Strawberry Bake. I was going to want a bigger size and I almost just went ahead and blind bought the bigger size once I saw the sale was going on because I just knew for sure I was going to love it. I don't hate it, but I'm just not crazy about it to the point where I want a bigger size yet. Um, I thought for sure I would. Pop, I knew that I would. And I did. I was not expecting another you to be the other, all, the other one that I'm considering getting a bigger size of. That is very surprising to me. I thought I was also going to be wanting a bigger size of Millen Mood. I thought for sure. I don't hate it, but there's a note in there that is just, I'm not crazy about, I'm not a fan of. And I don't know what to do. I'm a, this is going to be, this will definitely be if I purchase, it'll be at the end of the season when they're switching over from their summer to their fall or fall to winter, whichever. Because I need to let this sit for a little bit to see if that, whatever that note is, if I can get over it. Um, and Milk Bath, I wasn't surprised that I don't want a bigger size of this. It smells very unisex, leaning masculine to me. And then Nilly Vanilli, um, I can share a little bit of an update. I When I first initially smelled it, I liked it because even though it was supposed to be Vanilla 28, it smelled a little bit better than Vanilla 28 to me. It was maybe a little bit more creamy. Like I don't, I don't know, I just remember liking it because it smelled a little bit better than Vanilla 28. I put some a little bit on the other day and it was just a very heavy spicy vanilla it had definitely changed from first using it and I think it is closer to the original which is good because it's supposed to be a duper vanilla 28 but I think I enjoyed it more when it first a new bottle so I don't know if I'll be purchasing a full size of that either personally because I'm not the biggest fan of vanilla 28 however if you enjoy vanilla 28 i would say their version is a really really good impression of vanilla 28 especially after you let it sit because it has definitely changed drastically for sure so those are all the new releases i've done a couple different hauls hauls from them on my channel um so like i said if you're watching this in real time there is currently a sale going on until I think the 9th um, you don't have to put any code in or anything like that it just automatically takes the discount it's 30% off so um, hopefully that helps you make your decision if you want to purchase or not if you want something a bigger size or not um, but yeah this is a pretty good sale to take advantage of 30% off is fairly good fairly good um, even I think at the end of the season I think it only may be like 40% off when they do like when they're switching seasons and they're getting whatever's getting rid of whatever's left so 30% off is pretty good but that's all head over to the after party let me know what you think i love you all so much see you in my next one